Week 11 starting this evening. Whenever you think about this game, you got Mike Vrabel, friend of yours, Ohio Fuck, taking on a team that you're the all-time leading tackler for. How do you see this one going? How do you like the spread? And what do you think the game looks like this evening? AJ, I can't wait to hear it. First off, why did it go from three to three and a half? Did something happen? Any kind of injury report thing? So we're thinking maybe the shot money came in on the Packers because 58% uh, of the bets were on the Titans. Fifty or No, 56% of the bets were on the Titans. 58% of the money were on the Packers. So we think they moved it because of where the sharp money was going, which bodes well if you're pulling for the Packers in this particular one. Are you torn? Because although Vrabel might be out of shape in Luke Fickle's eyes, and he definitely can't beat up Luke Fickle, allegedly, he could certainly beat your ass. Right? Are you scared to pick against old Vrabes here publicly against the Packers? I, I would never take uh, Vrabes on in a physical altercation. That is something I do not want to even start with. You see how long he is, how mean he can be, and how gritty that guy is. Yeah, I would never even attempt to, but I am leaning Packers as of right now. I am as well, and I think there's a lot of us that are, and that's not necessarily a great thing for the outcome because we have been all right before, and we have certainly been – all wrong yeah. before yeah. as mm -hmm. well. Let's take a look at the super boost that is only available at FanDuel Sportsbook this evening. It was a team effort. We did not text you, so we will – A.J. deserves none of the shots on the shins if this does not hit. Yep. Or none of the credit <laughs> if it does hit. Fine with me. When no, it's no. fair. No. It's fair. No, when it hits, I, know what it is. I think it's good. I think there's a good chance it hits. I heard it. I heard what it is. Okay, so you like it. Derrick Henry, one yeah. plus one or more touchdowns. Derrick Henry to rush for 70-plus rush yards. That is an alternate line. His original line is like 100 and something yep. because they hammered Derrick Henry. 28 degrees tonight. Tannehill's first game back, potentially. Let's assume they're going to run Derrick Henry a lot. Let's assume he's going to get at least 70 yards because he's Derrick Henry, and he falls for yards normally. And then Alan Zard to score the one touchdown. That is the one that I think we're all just kind of – Torn on, but we saw that stat where he has not not had a touchdown two weeks straight this season. It has always there been if he doesn't have a touchdown, then next week it's almost like him and Aaron are like, hey, what's going on here? Let's find a way to get him back there. He's become a big-time target for Aaron. I know Christian Watson had three touchdowns, but I think Aaron's going to want Lazard to score, and I think Lazard is going to do as such. How do you feel about that, AJ? I, I think that's why it's a great bet, and regardless of whatever, if he, you know, the – the trend of not scoring last game, he always scores the next game. I think Aaron trusts him a lot. I think Aaron mm -hmm. likes him a lot, too. So uh, we just hope some of those big plays are touchdowns from Lazard. We know he's going to probably mm -hmm. have a few big-time, like, long third-down conversions where you got to have it. I just hope he gets in the end zone for a couple of them. Okay, AJ, you heard Chuck's pick. He's got Green Bay by one. The spread is obviously three and a half now with the Titans getting that on the road on Amazon Prime. AJ, what do you like? Who are you picking? So, I don't love for the Titans that the center is out. I know he and Braves had that exchange a couple weeks ago. He's not playing today. I think that hurts him. But I like Green Bay at home at minus three and a half tonight. Okay. Shit. Darius Butler. They got to get out to a fast start. Get out to an early lead. That's what they need. Okay. As we were watching Coach P's keys earlier, Darius. Mm-hmm. You heard Darius say into the microphone while Chuck was laying out who he thought was going to win. And Chuck had a swerve in there because he was sending yeah, out a lot yeah. of things that made it look yeah. like Tennessee was maybe going to be the winner. I heard Darius say, I'm changing my pick. I'm changing my pick. It was because <laughs> their red zone. It was because the way they are against the defense, I think, or, or defensive side of the ball. I forget what the highlights were exactly that made you say you're going to change your pick. You were leaning Packers. Have you changed? I've changed. Whoa. Wow. I'm going Titans plus three and a half. Okay. Wow. That half. Yeah. Would you have would half. you have been at three? It moved to three and a half today. Would you have remained on the Titans if it was plus three and not plus three and a half? No, I, I would be on the money line. I'm going, I'm going with the Packers. But with the points, three and a half, I'm going to Titans. Close game. Everybody's saying real Light close that. game tonight. Mm -hmm. Hey, Amazon, let's go. Let's have Here a good game. Go. Go. Let's have a great game tonight. That was some great keys, though. Great, great keys. It's a toss-up for me because I've picked against the Packers the last mm -hmm. two weeks, mm -hmm. and I've been wrong both times. I've been doing pretty good. If I would have just stuck with the Packers, just picking the Packers because Aaron comes on the show every single week and I enjoy his brain and I get a chance to hear a little bit of the inside feels of what the building is every single week and I've become a fan and I like the team and I think on the, in the roster and in, with the quarterback, they can beat anybody at any time, whenever, however, if they needed to. Absolutely. That's right. So if I would have just done what I had done for two years straight, <laughs> two years I did that, mm -hmm. my record would have been – you know, even a little bit better. Mm -hmm. 
I picked against them. They covered. They win. What Packers team are we going to see tonight, though? You know? Long Johns. Long John, Aaron Rodgers, sure. who is, what, 16 and – or. Four, nine, two, nine and four in prime nine time. and four Thursday. no it's Thursday. prime time yeah, sorry Thursday he was night. 16 and three 17 and three I seven, think. in 20, 20 below, degree oh yeah 30 degrees give me the green bay packers give me the green bay packers and that might not okay. be good for the packers by the way last two weeks when things are starting to go well they cover against the bills they beat the cowboys i i picked against them so am i the problem am i that important to the football world that me potentially picking him and them is going to jinx him? I don't think so. We'll find in out. hot picking games. I've been doing pretty good lately. Yeah. I've been doing pretty good lately. A lot of people, you know, attack me for a lot of the things I do on college game day, you know, and the picks I make there and, you know, getting people's names wrong on wrong teams and stuff. And there's a lot of guys in college football. I apologize. I'm trying to learn them all. I'm trying to learn them all. Yeah. But I feel like we're in a spot right now where we understand what teams are. Yeah. Yep. The only question is the Packers. Yeah. Like, what are the Packers? Because the Packers could be a team that could go, and they could be a team that they just one or two more losses. They're, it's going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be exactly. tough for the rest of the year because they lost a lot early. Maybe they go on a run, though. Every year a team goes on a run, right? Could be the Packers. Mm -hmm. Have to go now. A lot of teams, teams kind of in that category right now. One way or the other. Let's see what happens. Colts. All right, I'll take, I'll take – Yeah, 49ers yeah, for Niners. sure. AFC East as a whole. Yep. As All right, whole. I like the Packers tonight. It's cold. It's Lambeau. <laughs> It's Aaron. Hell yeah. Even though I love Rabes, I wish he was suiting up, especially because all the injuries they got on Titans. Mm -hmm. That would change.